and won. Our bond led us to victory. But it was not the victory I long for. Is it your wish that I continue with the story of my promise? Indeed, it was the miracle's will that made the bell ring. But it was the lady's sin that brought the curse down upon us. The lady, the most beautiful of women who lived in the palace by the lake, lived to admire her own beauty, which she believed to be unnaturally divine. The reflection of the lake in which she admired herself returned her own beauty with yet more intensity and splendor, keeping her spellbound for days, desiring that reflected perfection for herself. She prayed to the lake that no one else might see that reflection. As she looked at her reflection one more time, she saw her face distort to the sound of a terrible tolling that rose up from the lake's sunken bell. Do you wish me to join you in your next confrontation? There you shall find me, and in communion we shall fight. Billowing clouds of dust herald your arrival. Dust in the air that is born from the erosion of the walls, the statues, and our own bones. These stones heard so many sins that they could do no more than succumb, shuddering before their guilty echoes. Echoes that could not bear the seclusion that I imposed upon them and that escaped from me. Crawling along these walls, eroding them until their immaculate ashes buried us all. Penitent one, you will now reveal your sins, those that your tears can never atone for.
be witness to this vigil before my final journey. I, Radames, spent my long life listening to the confessions of so many burdened hearts. Even after death, I could still hear the echo of their mournful voices, begging to be heard again. But their pain never managed to bring tears to my eyes. One of those echoes, those incessant voices, was the very voice of the miracle who commanded me to guard its sacred regret. I obeyed, and it was then that my tears did flow. Penitent one, you who come to witness the miracle, behold. The memory of him still hurts. So it was that a humble married couple, torn apart by their inability to conceive a child, entrusted themselves in their utter desperation to the miracle. A miracle whose light seemed to have gone out in all our hearts. For having long ceased to bathe us in its benevolent radiance, we believed it extinct. The dying day already puts out its celestial light, causing my eyelids to droop. Let the miracle cast open its black gates, so I might venture to where that terrible dream, from which one never wakes, awaits. Penitent one, you have encountered one of the three regrets. The first part of the testimony of the birth has been revealed to you, and the eminent sculptor figure of the father has descended. Find the other two guardians. Penitent one, the first part, find the other.
Penitent One. My brothers will show you a way to the top of the tower. Help us by freeing more brothers, so the tower will reveal to you what it holds. Now I shall enhance the vital light within thee. I shall wait for thee to bring me more chalices. Bring me chalices and vials, and I shall fill them with mine own blood.
Here among my wares. We have no... Ray. 